Welcome traders to the Tickmer Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing 1st of November with me, Patrick Mullally. Starting out in the US, we are looking at Monday, uh, September construction spending, uh, strong housing demand expected to continue to be supportive of uh, construction. We also get October ISM manufacturing, continues to signal uh, robust growth is the estimate. Whilst October market manufacturing PMIs uh, may be hindered somewhat by supply chain and delta headwinds. Uh, heading forward to Wednesday, we get October ADP employment change, looking for another robust print there. We also get October ISM non-manufacturing, uh, reopening, sustaining strong expectations for activity. We get September factory orders, so transport orders have been creating volatility of late, so noteworthy there, looking for a uh, market median estimate there of minus 0.1%. Uh, we also get October market service PMIs, uh, strength in line with the view that uh, from the ISM survey is essentially what we're anticipating there with the median estimates of 58.2. Anything above 50, obviously, uh, is considered to be an expansionary. And most importantly on Wednesday, we get the FOMC policy decision and we are looking for that formal tapering announcement and then we want to see how uh, the committee are positioned with respect to the potential for rate hikes into 2022. On Thursday, we get initial jobless claims, downtrend likely to continue at a slow pace. Uh, we get Q3 productivity, uh, Delta's resurgent probably hit uh, productivity quite hard. We're expecting a median print there of minus 1.3%. We also get the September trade balance and uh, the trade deficit to widen further to historically significant levels at minus 74.6 as the market consensus. And finally on Friday we end up with October non-farm payrolls. Looking at the market median is uh, 425k. Um, employment momentum is expected to lift in this print. Well, obviously, we also get the employment rate, looking for market median 4.7%, and the uh, unemployment rate should continue to edge lower. And finally, we'll be looking at the October average hourly earnings, month over month, looking for 0.4% labour shortages, supporting that wage growth uh, scenario. From a technical perspective, the dollar index uh, surged higher on Friday. We'll have to wait and see how we open up on Monday here. Obviously, we have month-end positioning, so... Uh, we'll have to see how the market comes in on Monday. If we find support above the descending trend line here, it's coming in somewhere around 93.85, then we're looking for that extension up into the, uh, the upside objective here, uh, projected ascending trend line resistance coming in 95.72, and we have the 50% retracement of the entire decline at 96. And what we're ultimately looking for is a buy the rumor of the tapering and sell the fact scenario. So if we can get a push up into these areas, then we'll be watching to see if we get bearish reversal patterns to re-engage uh, the dollar on the short side. Heading to the Euro and the Eurozone. Uh, Monday, we get October market manufacturing PMIs. Uh, final release for the month, market median is coming in at 58.5. And then on Wednesday, we get October market services PMIs looking at 54.7 final release for the month. We also get the September unemployment rate. Uh, employment growth to, uh, to should be slowly trending down really in, uh, in 20, back into 21 and into 22. And finally, we end the week on Friday with uh, European September retail sales. Uh, the reopening supportive of services at the expense probably of retail uh, and we're looking at the last print was 0.3 percent uh, no estimate on that one from a technical perspective euro dollar tested descending trend line resistance strong with us on friday we did close though above this uh, projected descending trend line support so again similar to the dollar story we'll have to see how we come in on monday here uh, any follow through below friday's lows opens that pivotal test of the 114. At this stage, we need to see a close through 117 descending trend line resistance to start thinking about upside objectives. Heading to the UK and sterling, um, we get October market manufacturing PMIs on Monday, again, final release for the month. Uh, 
Wednesday, we get the October nationwide house prices. Annual growth is expected to remain strong and above 9%. I'm looking at medium estimates for the month of 0.3%. We also get October market services PMI final release for the month. Uh, last print was 58. And then on Thursday, the headline event is the BOE policy decision uh, with markets anticipating a 0.15% hike in rates. Um, but we have had some mixed data of late, so that's, uh, that's up for debate on Thursday, but certainly want to be paying attention to that print on Thursday. From a technical perspective, in line with much of these uh, dollar, cro uh, dollar majors, sorry, outside reversal on Friday, uh, looking now for a test of the monthly pivot, and, uh, sorry, looking for a test of the support zone here at um, 136. Uh, if buyers re-emerge here, then we'll see how we trade out the trend line again. But we do have this equality objective, A, B, C, uh, downside objective equality there at 133.22. And again, really, unless we can recapture on a closing basis this 138.35, I think pressure is to the downside heading into, uh, into this week. Let's check in with the dollar yen. In terms of data, it's pretty light uh, for, ja for Japan next week. We get uh, Monday, October, Nikkei Manufacturing PMI. Final release for the month last print was 53. Uh, again, considered expansionary. And the only other release of note next week is October, Nikkei Jap Japanese PMI services. Um, final release for the month, but again, domestic demand is likely to be soft and, uh, and likely that's going to weigh on the yen. From a technical perspective, we are looking for a close through this descending trend line resistance here, 114.17 area, to get a test of the fifth wave upside extension target here at 115.76. Then from there, we'll see uh, can we press on to test the ascending trend line resistance at 116.65. Certainly in this area, I'll be watching for bearish reversal patterns to play a counter trend uh, short position in, uh, in the dollar yen. And last but not least, we have the Aussie. And uh, Monday, pretty busy. We've got CoreLogic Home Value Index, uh, modest slowing in momentum, likely due to the lockdowns. We've got September housing finance, market median forecast minus 1.5%, likely a further leg lower as home builders unwind and we're facing those Delta headwinds. Uh, we also get September owner occupier finance, so uh, refinancing. Disruptions continue to have lagged effects there. We get September investor finance. Investor loans should outperform slightly, I think. Um, October M MI inflation gauge. Inflation pressures continue to be in focus, centered on rising costs. We also get the ANZ job ads, labor market. So bounce back on the reopening of the uh, of the Australian economy, and then the headline event really is on Tuesday. The RBA policy decision uh, expected to come in my, uh, sorry zero point one percent. Any shift in guidance uh, regarding the on hold until twenty twenty four will be the key focus. We also get uh, RBA Deputy Governor De Bell speaking, participating in a panel event. The impact of uh, the ex Sydney summit is going to be in focus there. Then moving into Wednesday, we get September dwelling pools, August high rise gain uh, to reverse with home with the home builder unwind that we're anticipating in the data on Monday. And then on Thursday, we get September trade balance exports zero, probably minus 5% lower iron ore prices, certainly going to weigh there and imports plus 0.5% on that uptick in the oil price. And then last but not least, on Friday, we get the RBA statement on monetary policy. Updated forecasts are going to be of particular interest. Uh, from a technical perspective, with respect to the Aussie, we are looking for one more extension into this descending trend line resistance at the 76 level. From there, I'm going to be looking to play counter trend short positions back into uh, test this 7370 zone of support. If buyers re engage there, then we're going to be looking to the long side and certainly thinking about a test of this high volume load coming in at 77.40. And that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing the 1st of November. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, most importantly, manage your risk. Until next week, thanks very much.